lesson for today is about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Bago tayo sa ating main lesson, let us have a review, short review of factoring wherein ang gagamitin lang natin ay common monomial factor and factoring of trinomial by trial and error. So, ito lang yung pangkaraniwan na ginagamit kapag ikaw ay nagsosolve ng quadratic equation using factoring. So, let us have a review first. Let us have a common monomial factor. So, for common monomial factor, let us have number 1. We have here x squared plus x. So, hanapin mo lang yung common sa kanila. Ang common sa kanila, we have here x. Just write here x. Then, open parenthesis. Then, you are going to divide the common factor to your given. So, x squared divided by x, just subtract the exponent. Ang magiging sagot is x. Then, just copy the sign. We have here plus. Then, x divided by x. Okay, a number divided by by itself, the answer is 1. Diba? So, since x divided x, the answer is x. We're done. If we are going to check, just just distribute x times x, x squared, x times 1, we have x. So, your factor is correct. So, ganun lang kasimple ang common monomial factor. Next tayo, number 2. 10 x squared minus 5x. So, dun ka muna sa, sa numerical coefficient. May common ba sa kanila? So, ang kanilang factors ay 5. So, yung 5 labas mo. And then, sa x squared and x, we have here 5x. Then, open parenthesis. Then, we are going to divide. 10x squared divided by 5x. So, 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2. Then, x squared divided by x, we have x. So, we have 2x. Then, minus um, negative 5x divided by 5x, the answer is 1. We're done. Next tayo. 8x squared minus 12x. What would be the factors of 8 and 12? Ang factors niya ay 4. So, yung 4, yung pwede mo i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. Then, x squared and x, we have x ulit. Okay? So, x lang yan. Kasi siya yung may pinakamababa ng exponent eh. So, then, afterwards, 4x divided by, ah, uh, sorry, 8x squared divided by 4x. The answer here is 2x. Then, minus 12x divided by 4. The answer is negative 3. We're done. So, that is com common monomial factor. Let us move with the next factoring. We have factoring of trinomial by trial and error. So, since trial and error, we are going to try and try until you find the correct factor. For example, I have here x squared plus 7x plus 12 plus 12. So, for us to find the factors of this one, find mo lang yung factor nito. Ito, yan. Factors nyan. Ano na ba yung mga factors nyan? We have here 1 and 12, 6 and 2, 3 and 4. So, yan yung mga factors ni 12. Ngayon, since addition, addition yan, so, add mo lang to. So, ano kaya yung dalawang numbers na pinag-add mo dito? Yung factors niya, pag pinag-add mo, the answer is 7. So, obviously, we have 3 plus 4. The answer here is 7. So, yun dapat yung lalabas, yung pinakagitna niya. So, the factors of this one, lagay ka lang, open and close, open and close, just copy x, just copy x, so, since positive ang 3 mo, lagay mo dyan, plus 3. Since positive ang 4 mo, lagay mo dyan, plus 4. We're done. So, ganun lang ka simple kapag ikaw ay mag-trial and error. We are going to try for the given factors. Is it clear? So, if you are going to want to check this one, you may use FOIL method. So, paano? X times X, we have X squared. Then, we have here um, X times 4. The answer is 4X. 3 times x, the answer is 3x. Then, this one, 3 times 4, we have here 12. When you add 4x plus 3x, the answer is 7x. So, your factors is correct. Is it clear? Next tayo, number 2. x squared minus 12 plus 20. So, let us find the factors. So, find natin yung factors ni 20. Since ito ay negative at ito ay positive, therefore, ang sagot mo dapat dito ay parehas sa negative. Naintindihan? Kapag lahat sila ay positive, lahat dapat dito na nasa gitna ng factors mo ay positive. Pag ang given mo ay negative at saka positive, negative si second, and then yung third mo, eh, ito po ay may x ha. May x po yan. Okay. 
dito ay um, 20 positive, kailangan pareso negative. Pero pag ito ay negative, yung dulo mo, so, ang isa mo dapat ay positive. Okay? So, we have here x and x. Next tayo. 20. Let us find all the factors of 20. Ang factors si 20 ay 1 and 20. Um, then, 5 and 4. And then, we have, ano pa factor si 20? We have 5 and 4, 10, and then 2. So, that are the factors of 20. Ngayon, isip ka ngayon kung ano yung pinag-add mo dyan sa dalawa na yan, ang sagot ay 12. So, since we have here negative 12, so, there are both should be negative. Negative 10 minus 2, the answer is negative 12. Tama? So, this is the factors. So, lagay mo lang dyan, minus 10, minus 2. We're done. So, this is now your factors. Secure? So, kung gusto nyo pa ng more examples about common monomial factor and factoring of trinomial by using trial and error, ilalagay ko yung link na una kong video, okay, na nasa grade 8 topic kasi si factoring. So, ilalagay ko po yung link para madali nyo siyang makita at kung gusto nyo, po, gusto nyo pa siyang i-review. Alright? So, now, let us move with our main topic. Solving quadratic equation by factoring. So, let us have the first one. What if the given is in the form of ax squared plus bx equals to 0? Si, ang nawawala dito ay si constant term. Doon sa ating naunang lesson, so solving quadratic equation by using extracting square roots, ang nawawala doon ay si linear, pero meron siyang constant. Dito naman, ang nawawala ay si constant, pero meron siyang linear. So, kapag ganito ang case na nakita nyo, ang gagamitin nyo lang po ay si common monomial factor. Sit there. So, tinuturo ko rin sa inyo kung saan nyo ba siya gagamitin para mabilis nyong makita kung ano bang solution yung dapat nyong i-apply. For example, we have here, x squared minus 4x equals to 0. So, wala tayong constant term. Ang meron lang tayo ay si quadratic at saka si linear. Kaya, ang gagamitin natin ay common monomial factor. Bakit si common monomial factor? Because, in our given, meron tayong common. Si x squared minus 4x, ang common niya dito ay si x. Tama ba? So, since we have here your common, ilalabas natin si common, which is x. Then, open parenthesis. So, ito yung nasa review natin kanina. Then, you are going to divide. x squared divided by x. Ang sagot na dyan is x. Kasi, when you multiply x times x, the answer is x squared. Tama? Then, copy the sign, minus. Then, we have here 4x divided by x. So, si 4 divided by x, natawala yung x, ang matitira ay si 4. So, x minus 4. If you multiply x times negative 4, the answer is negative 4x. So, your factor is correct. So, it is equal to 0. Afterwards, si separate mo lang yung both factors, si x at saka si x minus 4. Then, i-equate mo yung both factors to 0. So, yung isa mong x ay equal to 0. So, ito na yung isa mong sagot as your x. Dahil ikaw ay nasa quadratic, kailangan ng x mo laging dalawa. Katulad doon sa ating unang lesson, doon sa by using extracting square roots, laging may positive at saka negative. Tama ba? Then, for the next factor, you have here x minus 4, equate it again into 0. Afterwards, yung 4, ju just transpose to the other side for us to solve for x. So, your x is equals to, negative becomes positive, we have your 4. So, the answer here is 0 and positive 4. Is it clear? So, to check your answer, just substitute. If you are going to substitute here 0, 0 squared is 0, then 4 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is also 0. Diba? Next tayo, tingnan nyo to. 4 squared. Ang 4 squared natin ay 16 minus 4 times 4, kasi yung x ay 4, 16. So, 16 minus 16, we have here 0. So, your factors are correct. Or, your x's are correct. Okay? Next tayo. Let us have this one. x squared minus 5x, ah, plus 5x equals to 0. ba? Madali lang siya. So, we have here common ulit. Ang common natin ay x. Then, just divide. So, we have here x 
Just copy the sign plus 5x divided by x, the answer is 5. Equals to 0. Then just separate both factors. So since we have here x, x equals to 0. So this is now your first x. The next one, x plus 5 equals to 0. Just transpose 5 to the other side. So the answer is x equals to negative 5. We're done. So your answer here is 0 and negative 5. Is it clear? Next tayo. We have here 3x squared minus 9x equals to 0. So since meron tayo ditong number, uh, and then 3 and 9 are with common, ang common niya is, we have a common of 3. So, labas mo lang yung 3, then ang common sa variable natin, we have your x. So, we have your 3x. Then, just divide. So, ang sa magigisagot dyan is x. Then, minus 9x divided by 3x. The answer here is 3 equals to 0. Then, just separate both factors. So, you have here 3x equals to 0. If you divide both sides by 3, kasi kailangan x lang ang matira. Therefore, 0 divided by 3, the answer is 0. So, that's the first answer. Next tayo. x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to positive 3. Is it clear? So, ganun lang kasimple kapag ang given mo ay quadratic and linear. Ang gagamitin lang natin ay si common monomial factor. So, kapag si common monomial factor nyo, so... Um, mapapansin nyo na ang isang x niya ay laging 0. Is it clear? Uh, let us have more two examples about common monomial factors. You may fraction naman. Number 4. 9x squared plus 12x is equals to 0. So, this one, we have ang common natin with 9 and 12, we have 3. 3x. Then, just divide. 9 divided by 3, the answer is 3. Then, x. Kasi x squared divided by x, we have x. Plus, 12 divided by 3, we have here 4. 4 na lang. Kasi x divided by x ay 1 na yun. Then, equals to 0. Then, equate lang natin. So, yung isa, we have here 3x equals to 0. Divide both sides by 3. Therefore, your x here is 0. So, yan na yung isa yung asagot. Next, this one. 3x plus 4 equals to 0. Just transpose 4 to the other side. So, malitira dito si 3x is equals to negative 4. Divide both sides by 3. By 3. Cancelled out. So, the answer here is x is equals to negative 4 over 3. We're done. So, ganun lang kasimple kapag naman may fraction. Okay? So, simple... Um, solving of x of a linear linear equation. Okay? So, ang sagot natin, we have 0 and negative 4 over 3. Let's move with number 5. So, common with 4x squared minus 22x. So, ang common sa kanya, we have here 2 at saka x. Then, 4x squared divided by 2, the answer is 2x. Minus 22 divided by 2, the answer is 11. Equals to 0. Just separate. So, we have here 2x equals to 0. Divide both sides by 2. Cancelled out. So, x is equals to 0. Ito nga, kahit mo na hindi to isolve, basta x equals to 0 na lang yung kabilang side. Next tayo. 2x minus 11 equals to 0. Just transpose negative 11 to the other side. So, you have 2x is equal to positive 11. Divide both sides by 2 by 2. Cancelled out. So, the answer here is x is equals to 11 over 2. Okay? So, pwede na yan. proper fraction. Huwag nang pahirapan ang inyong sarili. Or, sige, kung gusto nyo, pwede naman siyang mixed number that is 5 and 1 half. Pwede naman din yan yung sagot nyo. Or, dito naman, pwede rin naman ang sagot nyo dito ay negative 1 and 1 third. That is it. Depende kay teacher kung anong gusto niya, kung pwede bang improper na lang or kailangan pa siya i-simplify as max number. Basta po, as, as na siya ay naka um, dowest term sa improper, tama na yun eh. Pero depende pa rin sa teacher niya. 
it's rare. Now, let's move with factoring using trial and error. Solving quadratic equation by trial and error. So, you are going to use trial and or error if they are given as in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. As you can see, kumpleto ang ating quadratic equation. Merong kang um, quadratic term, linear term, and then constant term. Let us have an example. Let us have number 1. We have here x squared plus 9x plus 8 is equal to 0. So, first, we are going to factor. Tandaan lang po na kailangan lahat ng inyong term ay nasa left side. Pati yung kanina natin, kapag factor yung gagamitin natin, kailangan nasa left side lahat ang ating given. Ang matitira lang lagi sa right side ay 0. Alright? So, please take note of that. So, since lahat naman sila ay nasa left side, we can now factor. So, let us use trial and error, then equate it into 0. So, try muna tayo. What are the factors of 8? Ang factors ni 8 ay 8 and 1, and then 4 and 2. So, yun yung factors ni 8. Since positive-positive naman siya, therefore, we have here x and x. Lahat ay positive din yung gagamitin natin sa gitna. O, ngayon, doon sa given factors mo, ano kaya dito pag pinag-add mo ay 9? So, 8 plus 1, we have 9. Ito, 4 plus, so we have 6. So, ito, mali. This one is correct. So, this one is plus 8, then this one is plus 1. Ayun na, nakuha na natin yung correct factors niya. After you have your correct factors, ano nang gagawin nyo? Separate the factors and equate it into 0. x plus 8 equals to 0. Then, solve for x. Just transpose. x is equals, positive becomes negative. This is your first x x equals to negative 8. The other one, x plus 1 equals to 0. Just transpose. x is equals to negative 1. We're done. So, your answer for number 1 is negative 8 and negative 1. Is it clear? So, madali lang, di ba? Lalo na kapag sanay na sanay kang mag-factors, madaling madali na sa iyan. So, we have the next one. Let us find the factors of 6. So, we have here 6 and 1. If you multiply 6 times, so the answer is 6. Then, we have here 3 and 2. If you multiply 3 times, so the answer is 6. Now, since plus ulit ito, plus ulit sa gitna, then x and x lang dito. Then, ang factor si 6 ay ito. Kailangan pag pinag-add natin ay yung gitna. So, 6 plus 1 ay 7. So, mali ito. 3 plus 2, the answer is 5. So, this one is correct. So, we have here plus 3, then plus 2, then equals to 0. Diba? So, ganun lang kasimple. And then, separate na po tayo. We have x plus 3 is equals to 0. So, x is equals to, just transpose 3 to the other side, that is negative 3. We're done. Next, x plus 2 is equals to 0. x is equals to, just transpose 2 to the other side, we have here negative 2. So, the answer in this equation, we have here negative 3 and negative 2. Is it clear? Now, let us have more examples. Number 3, x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals to 0. As you can see dito, ito yung may negative, yung second. Diba sabi ko kanina, kapag negative ay yung linear, then positive yung constant term, dapat ang inyong factors ay parehas na negative. So, we have here x and x, then should be both negative. Now, let us have the factors of 16. Ang factors ni 16 ay 1 and 16. Ano pa? 4 and 4. Then, we have 8 and 2. Ano kaya dito pa pag mo? Ang sagot ay 8. So, obviously, we have here 4. 4 plus 4, the answer is 8. Since negative, negative 4. Minus 4, the answer is negative 8. Tama? So, we have here minus 4, minus 4. So, that is the factors of this one. Then, equals to 0. Then, Separate mo lang. x minus 4 equals to 0. So, x is equals to positive 4. Just transpose negative, it becomes positive. x minus 4 equals to 0. So, x is equals to um, positive 4 then. So, your answer here is 4 and 4. Is it clear? Next tayo, number 4. We have your x squared minus 12x plus 20. As you can see, negative ulit yung ating gitna. Then, positive ito. Dapat yung gitna natin pareha sa negative. x and x. Now, let us have the factors of 20. Ang factors ni 20 ay, uh, we have 1 and 20. 
5 and 4, 10 and 2. So, ano kaya dito pag pinag-add natin ay 12? Obviously, we have here 10 and 2. So, 10, then 2. Or that. Then, solve. x minus 10 equals to 0. Just transpose, x equals to positive 10. Then, x minus 2 equals to 0. Just transpose, x is equals to positive 2. For that. So, ang sagot sa number 4, we have 10 and 2. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have number 5. As you can see, sa 5 and 6, uh, di ba, magkaiba sila? Sa number 5 muna pala. So, as you can see, number 5, ang negative mo ay nandito sa kabilang side, nasa constant term. Kapag nasa constant term ang negative mo, kailangan ng factors mo ay isang positive at isang negative. Okay? So, we have here, factors natin ay x and x, isang positive, isang negative. Ayan, equals to 0. Ngayon, let us have the factors of 15. Ang factors ni 15 ay 15 and 1, then 3 and 5. So, yun lang naman. Since positive ito, kailangan nasa positive yung pinakamataas mong number. So, dito yung positive, doon sa negative, yun yung maliit. So, ito yung negative, ito yung magiging positive. Let us solve. If you are going to operate this one, 15 minus 1, the answer is 14. If you are going to operate this one, 3 plus 5, the answer here is positive 2. So, ano yung lumabas? This one, positive 2. So, this one. This is the correct factor. So, dito araw ay negative 3, yung isa ay positive 5. So, that are the factors. Is it clear? So, yun yun ha. So, ganun siya kapag naman negative ang inyong constant term. Huwag malilito. Then, separate mo na. X plus 5 equals to 0. X is equals to negative 5. That's the first X. The second X, X minus 3 equals to 0. Then, X is equals to positive 3. Okay. So, may tanong. Uh, paano po pag nagkabaliktad sila ng Pwesto. Okay lang po ba yun? Dito po si x minus 3, dito po si x plus 5. Yes! Po, pwede po yun. So, wala po siyang uh, kaso. Basta ma makuha mo si negative 5 at saka si positive 3. Ang hindi lang po pwede, ito ang maging positive 3, then this one is magiging negative 5. So, yun po yun. Mali po yun. Kasi yung magiging sagot doon is negative 2 doon sa gitna. So, mamamali na yung factors nyo. So, yung positioning ng factors mo, okay lang na siya ay magkaiba-iba. Okay? wag lang yung sign. Is it clear? Next tayo, this one, number 5. So, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, kailangan lahat ng inyong term ay nasa left side. So, since this one, yung 7, yung constant term natin ay nasa right side, we are going to transpose. Para maging equate natin ay 0. So, x squared minus 6x, then it becomes minus 7 equals to 0. So, as you can see, negative ulit yung ating constant term. So, therefore, ang magiging factors mo ay x isang positive, x isang negative. So, equals to 0. Let us have the factors of 7. Ang factors lang naman ni 7 ay 7 and 1. Ngayon, since negative ito, Kailangan yung highest number mo ay negative. So, ang highest number mo dito ay 7. That is negative. Then, plus 1. Pag inoperate mo yan, negative 7 plus 1, the answer is negative 6. Ayun. Nakuha. So, the factors are x plus 1, kasi positive to, then x minus 7. Yan na yan. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay, we're done na. Then, we have now your solve for x x plus 1 equals to 0, x is equals to, just transpose, negative 1. x minus 7 equals to 0, just transpose, we have x is equals to positive 7. Okay? So, ayan na, iba-iba yung ating um, given, given equation. So, iba-iba ko yan para alam nyo kung ano-ano ba yung uh, dapat nyong tandaan. Now, let us have an example. So, yung meron namang number dito. Yung merong numerical coefficient, C, um, quadratic term. How is it? Let us move with our next example. Yung una nating mga examples, madadali yun. So, now, dito tayo sa medyo mahirap. Yung merong numerical coefficient sa tabi ni quadratic term. 
So, paano nga ba to? So, trial and error pa rin tayo. So, since meron ng numerical dito, meron na tayong uh, maramis marami pang factors tayong pagpipilian. Okay? Then, since ito positive, positive pa rin ang ating given. Uh, plus and plus. Then, ang factors lang natin sa una, ano ba factors ni 2? We have 2 and 1. So, yung isa ay 2x dito. Yung isa naman dito ay x lang. Yan. Then, next tayo, si 3. Ang factors lang naman ni 3 ay 3 and 1. Okay? So, hanap ka lang ng peso ni 3 and 1 kung saan ba siya tatama. Let us try this one. Dito yung 3, dito yung 1. Ito na yung pinaka trial and error talaga. So, paano malalamang tama yung factors mo? Ito multiply mo. 1 times x, we have your x. Ito multiply mo. 3 times 2, we have 6x. Pag in mo, dapat 5x dapat yun. Pag pinag mo ba to anong sagot? Ang sagot dyan ay 7x. So, mali yung factors mo. So, since mali yung factors mo, ang gawin naman natin, pagpapalitin naman natin yung 3 at saka 1. Dito ko ilalagay si 3, dito ko ilalagay si 1. Yan. Tingnan natin kung tama. 3 times x, that is 3x. 2 times 1, that is 2x. If you add this 1, the answer is 5x. So, therefore, ito yung tamang, this is the correct factors. We have 2x plus 3 at saka x plus 1 equal to 0. Then, just separate. So, we have 2x plus 3 equals to 0. Just transpose 3 to the other side. So, you have 2x is equal to negative 3. Divide both sides by 2. By 2. Cancelled out. Therefore, your x is negative 3 over 2. We're done. So, yan yung ating isang x. How about this one? x plus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to just transpose. We have here negative 1. We're done. So, your x is here is negative 3 over 2 and x is equal to negative 1. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have number 7. So, dito medyo mahirap kasi we have here 10 and 10. Okay? So, maraming factors na ating pagpipiliin na pagpapalitin pa. Hindi pa tayo sure. And then, yung sign niya, isang positive, isang negative. Kasi negative beta. Okay. So, ang 10, ang factors ni 10 naman ay uh, 10 and 1, tsaka 5 and 2. So, ayan yung gagamitin natin. So, let us have the first factors. So, 10 tayo. Dito tayo, 10 and 1. 10 and 10x at tsaka x. Dito sa 10 ay 10 and 1 ulit. Sige, gawin natin tong 10 ulit. Ito ay 1. Tingnan natin. 10 times x, that is 10x. 10 times negative 1, that is negative 10x. So, mali. Mali yung factors natin. Gawin natin tong 5 and 2. Yan. ba Pumapasok na sa trial and error. So, kailangan matyaga ka mag trial and error. 5x yan. Ito ay 2x. ba Pag minultiply mo yan, 10x squared eh. Next, we are going to multiply. Uh, 10 times 2x, that is um, 20x. Then, there's 1. 5 times 1, that is minus 5x. So, 15 yun. Hindi natin nakuha yung 21. Try naman natin ito. Kagawin natin tong 5 and 2. 5 and 2. Uh, dito yung 5. Dito yung 2. Okay, let us try. We have here, um, 2 times 2, we have here 4x. Then, 5 times 5, we have here negative 25x. So, magigisagot ay negative 21x. Naku, malapit na. Kasi negative, ito kailangan positive. So, anong gagawin natin? Pagpapalitin na lang natin yung sign. Ito gagawin nating negative, then this one becomes positive. Ayan. So, ba medyo mahirap kapag merong ba, uh, numerical coefficient sa tabi ni quadratic term. Oh, let us see. Negative 2 times negative 2x, that is negative 4x. 5 times positive 5, that is pa positive 25x. If you add this one, the answer is positive 21x. Ayun! We got it correctly. 
Okay? So, yan na po nga pasok si trial and error. And then, equated it to 0. 5x minus 2 equals to 0. We have 5x equals to positive 2. Just transpose. Divide both sides by 5 by 5. Cancelled out. So, your x is 2 over 5 here. Next tayo. 2x plus 5 equals to 0. 2x is equals, just transpose, that is negative 5, divide both sides by 2, x is equals to negative 5 over 2. We're done. Okay? Next tayo, number 8. 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 equals to 0. So, since some factors lang naman ni 3x ay 3x and x, so you have here 3x at saka x, then... Since ito ay negative, so positive yung isa, yung isa ay negative. So, hanapin lang din natin yung correct form. Ang factors ni 4 ay 1 and 4 at saka uh, 2 and 2. Tingin natin. So, kung saan tatama. Tingnan natin dito ay 2 at saka 2. Let's try. 2 times 2, that is 2x. 3 times 2, that is negative 6x. The answer is negative 4x. So, since sign lang nagkaiba, this should be negative, then should, should be positive. Para ito ay magiging negative, this one magiging positive. So, your, your middle term is positive. Alright. So, we're done with this number 8. Okay na tayo sa factors. Equals to 0. We can now solve for x. Just separate. 3x minus 2 equals to 0. So, you have here 3x equals to positive 2. Divide both sides by 3. x is equals to 2 third. Okay, we're done. Next, x plus 2 equals to 0. x is equals to negative 2. We're done. Alright? So, that is how you are going to solve quadratic equation using factoring. So, hopefully, may natutunan kayo for this lesson. And kapag meron po kayong tanong, huwag mahiyang magtanong sa ating comment box. So, thank you for listening!